let's talk about ammo in Payday 3, okay? Because it's kind of confusing and kind of weird and doesn't make a whole lot of sense the more you look into it. At first you think it's pretty straightforward, right? You have a max ammo, you have reserve ammo, you start the heist with your max ammo and you have reserve ammo and you kill cops and you pick up ammo and it goes to reserve and that's it. And that is kind of how the game works, however there's a bit of a problem in this. As I'm sure most of you are already aware by this point, when you start a heist, you do not start with your max ammo. You start with a percentage of your max ammo. I'm going to quickly go through all of the values real quick because it is kind of interesting to actually know the values. It doesn't really help much, but you can put them into very specific and clear categories. So for example, all of the assault rifles, that is the Car 4, the B9, the AK and the SCAR, they all have 40% of their max ammo when you start a heist. The SMGs, so the MPX, the Uzi and the MP7, they all have 50% of their max ammo when you start a heist. The uh, R900S, or 900S, whatever the fuck it's called, the sniper rifle, the sniper rifle, the only sniper rifle in the game, not counting the other kill weapon, starts also with 50% of its max ammo. The SA144, the DMR, the DMR starts with 60% of its max ammo, so it's not in the same category as the sniper rifle, which is interesting. Uh, the shotguns, so the Reinfeld 880 and the Moscone, uh, both start with 66%. The revolvers, so the Castigo and the Bison, both start with 66% as well. 66%, I can't speak, holy shit. And then finally, the pistols, so the uh, Contract 40, the 403, the 1911 and the Glock, the Strike 7, all start with 80% of their max ammo. So it's really interesting that the weapons are divided into these very clear categories where each weapon within the category kind of obviously shares traits with the others, so the, all the pistols are 80%, all the revolvers are 66%, all the SMGs are 50%. Um, but what's confusing about this is the fact that the way this is calculated is really kind of weird because it doesn't take into effect the ammo skill, the ammo specialist skill, I think is what it's called, which increases reserve ammo by 20%. The way max ammo, or the way starting ammo, rather, is calculated is it takes the max ammo value, which is listed on the weapon stat screen, and it takes the percentage of that. So for the AK, you would have 40% of 300, which is the max reserve ammo listed on the AK stats, which is 120. Now this is a little bit awkward because the ammo specialist skill increases reserve ammo by 20%, which means 300 times 1.2 should be 360. So you should start with more than 120. I forget the number. I think it's like 150 or something. That doesn't happen. And also the stat screen doesn't reflect the change in reserve ammo like it should do. I'm assuming this is a bug of some kind, but I really have no clue. Maybe this is intended behaviour for the starting ammo anyway. I mean, not the reserve ammo on the stat screen not updating, because that definitely seems unintended. Because you only start with a percentage of your max ammo and the ammo specialist skill doesn't affect your starting ammo at all, which seems like a bug. There's never a reason for you to take the ammo specialist skill unless you want a skill from that skill line. If you just want the reserve ammo, it does literally nothing for you. Because if you're using an assault rifle, like if you're using the SCAR, you're going to start with 40% of your max ammo anyway. If you somehow hit max ammo, if you somehow pick up enough ammo to reach max ammo, you really do not need that extra 20% ammo, right? If you're picking up enough ammo to self-sustain yourself to the point that you can go from 40% of your ammo to 100%, you do not need the extra 20%. If the 20% actually affected your setting ammo, it would be a bit of a different story, right? Because there are some weapons where maybe, like for example, when I play Road Rage with the AK, I regularly run out of ammo by the time I reach the end of the like the end of the path. With the extra 20% ammo, that wouldn't be as much of a concern, but it doesn't work like that. So there's not really any point in taking the skill for the extra 20%, which is what I've been taking it for, but I only realised recently there's no point. So yeah, there's just a bit of a really weird quirk of how the weapon ammo actually works. Um, 
and it kind of indirectly means the armor specialist skill is only something you should take if you want other skills in that skill line. If you have no use for any of the skills in that skill line, there is no reason for you to take armor specialist, which is really strange and definitely feels like an oversight or a bug of some kind. And that's about it, just a very short video talking about armor, but um, I wanted to get this out of the way because I wanted to. Uh, yeah.